Church, happy, happy anniversary. Truly, the goodness of God is running after us. And kitang-kita natin, we are now in our fifth year. At totoo na napakabuti at napaka-faithful ni Lord. Amen? With that, I invite you to stand up. Let us celebrate God's goodness in our church, His church, and back church. Your power, it is your strength. Great are you, Lord, and worthy. 
to be praised. Great are your ways, great are your works, great are you, Lord, and all the earth. Great is your power, great is your strength, great are you, Lord, and I'm ready to be praised. Let me say, your greatness, your famous name is exalted in all the
Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness, for your faithfulness, Lord. And we just would like to declare your greatness, Father. It's all because of you. That's why we are here, Lord. It's all because of your works. That's why we're celebrating. It's because of your goodness. That's why we are rejoicing, Father. Lord, you are God alone. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We praise you. We glorify you, Father. And we honor you now and forever. Amen. You know, family, I've seen this church as a big boat journeying in the ocean together, united, and stronger, whom God has called to set thy feet upon that waters, to let be known to all of us that through the years, through those five years and the coming years, that in calmness and in storms, we have a faithful God. We have one Savior. We have one Jesus. There's no room for fear and worries. Trusting God, trust trusting God without borders.
in the presence of my enemies. I raise a hallelujah, louder than the unbelief.
battle, every challenges, every hurdles that we face every day, you are there. You have been so faithful. You have been so good, Father. And we praise you, Father. May your presence fill this place, fill our hearts as we declare your goodness and your faithfulness in our lives. Good. 
glory and all the honor every breath in our lungs belongs to your name alone Jesus Christ amen and amen Good afternoon, Impact Church! And happy 5th anniversary! Wow! God is good. And all the time. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hope you are all very excited watching in your homes with us in our celebration this afternoon. Praise the Lord. And watching dyan sa ating FB Live, nako, uh, kanina nasa high tayo ng 80 live viewers. Palakpaka naman dyan. And almost 120 comments and 35 shares sa ating Facebook Live. Praise the Lord. We like to reach of course, our um, mission, to outreach natin, mga members natin, mga small groups natin. But we'd like to welcome all of you sa ating uh, celebration, ng ating fifth year anniversary as a church. We would like to uh, thank you, of course, yung ating core members ng Impact Church who is there, no, palagi nandiyan to support and to lead our church, ang ating outreach, kasama dyan yung Kogyo. Hello sa inyo dyan, yung mga nanonood sa Kogyo, kids ministry natin dyan. Our small group leaders, yung mga outreach natin sa mga schools and uh, uh, campuses. Thank you very much for being here with us this afternoon. God is really uh, good, ano? At mamaya, mas maririnig pa natin more of... Uh, yung leading ni Lord sa ating church. Kasi kanina, as we start, yung history, di ba? So history, mamaya naman, where God is leading us. Wow! Our, my heart is overflowing with joy because of God, God's goodness to us. Marami na siyang ginawa no, through the church at marami pa siyang gagawin. Amen? Praise the Lord for that. Let me just uh, greet those who are uh, celebrating their birthdays this week. Una una dyan sa July 23, si Ate Mayet Bangkil. Happy birthday Ate Mayet. And may the Lord bless you more. At kinabukasan, magbi-birthday din sa July 24, si Kuya Bobot Migraso. Happy birthday Kuya Bobot. At syempre, hindi magpapahuli dahil wedding anniversary naman ng mag-asawa na si Kuya Henry at si Ate Raj Arellano. Wow, maraming uh, may virtual, ano pa pala tayo. <laughs> uh, applause, but we are just thankful to the Lord so that uh, we can celebrate this momentous uh, times together. Let us uh, go to our uh, giving. John Piper said, giving in a regular, disciplined, generous way up to and beyond the tight is simply good sense in view of the promises of God. And it says in 2 Corinthians 9, 7 
You should each give. You should each give. Then, as you have decided, not with regret or out of a sense of duty, for God loves the one who gives gladly. Let us come to the Lord and give what is His. Let's pray. Thank you so much, Lord, for this beautiful afternoon you have given us to worship you and to celebrate of your goodness for the last five years you have been with us in this church. May you bless our brothers and sisters in the Lord. May you expand their territories. May you continue to give them hope and joy as they serve the church and as they serve people around them. It is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Maybe alam mo, nabitin ako sa kwento ni Gerard at Jaet last week eh. Mm -hmm. uh, Madahil pa kasi akong gustong malaman sa pinagdaanan ng Impact Church. Two years pa lang naman ako dito since nung first time na invite mo ko. Babe, two years na ano. <laughs> Pero buti na lang din na kwento na ni Gerard kay Jaet yung mga panahon na yun. Kasi wala pa ako nun eh. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi rin nagtagal. Lumipat na rin naman kami ng mga brothers ko dito. But... I'm still excited and happy na ikawinto sa'yo kung ano po ba yung mga naging milestone na Impact Church. Sige nga, sige nga. Ano ba yung mga nangyari for the past two years? Kasi ganito yan. Noong August 2018, God led us to start a marketplace ministry in Mall of Asia because we had a contact who works there sa isang company. So we called it Focus Fridays where we held our worship services but sometimes we had difficulty with the schedule and availability. Though we gave our best efforts, um, it looks like di pa talaga time for us to plant a church there. Sayang naman, iyan dami pa naman contact centers doon and businesses, di ba? Oo nga eh, pero we did our part and we know God has His reasons why hindi pa siguro natuloy. But anyway, we focused our efforts with the ministry to teachers instead. We gave out Polo shirts to the teachers of Ramon Magsaysay in celebration of World Teachers Day noong October 2018. Sa sobrang saya nila, actually nagamit agad yung t-shirt na yun nung nag-gather sila sa Araneta Coliseum. Akalain mo yun? Kaya hanggang ngayon, loves na loves talaga tayo ng Ramon Magsaysay. Nakakatawa naman pala kasi hindi tumigil yung Impact Church to find ways how to minister kahit may konting failure sa mga ventures, di ba? Kaya nga, hindi ko alam kung saan ako magugulat kung sa failures ba o dun sa binanggit mo may find ways. Parang medyo naliis tayo ng landas nun. But anyways, yung efforts ng church ay double purpose palagi. Kasi hindi lang sa teachers, pati sa students kasama dito. Kaya we started having youth fellowships sa Ramon Magsaysay with our campus ministers, yan si Lahuya Jovit at Kuya Gerald na lagi pumupunta doon. Pero, nagkaroon pa dito ng ano, basketball ministry. Mm -hmm. Para to sa mga students every Saturday. Oh, basketball. Mm -hmm. Mayroon ikaw dyan. Amazingly, ah, hindi lang sa Ramon ito nag-grow. Kasi, isa sa mga youth natin, kilala mo to, si Jerome Yushang. O, oh, oh, diba? Ang nag-invite sa kanilang coach kasama yung buong team nila sa district team ng Quezon City para umaten ng church service natin. Parang pagkakatanda ko, December ata yun yung na-invite sila. Alam mo ba kung sino coach yun? Coach? Coach nila sa basketball? Oo! Sino? Ano ka ba? Huwag sinabing coach, tapos impact church, isa na kaagad yung maiisip mo. Si Coach Dan yun! Ah, si Coach Dan. Dito nag-start si Coach Dan. Oo, oo. Diyan na nakapasok si Coach Dan. Yeah. Tapos, kasama na yung mga players niya. Si Redmir, Dave, si Nico, si John, at marami pang iba. So, you mean to say, dahil lang nag-invite si Jerome, nadagdaga na yung members ng Impact Church? Oo, oh, dumadami na tayo nun. Dahil sa pagkilas ng Panginoon, sa buhay nila, and after... Praying for more than two years for one sumulong high school, doors widely opened for us through Coach Dan. We started having Bible studies for the students every Wednesday afternoon the next year from January to March 2019. 
So, kaya pala ang dami nating students from different schools and campuses na part ng Impact Church. Diba? Ganun na nga. Kaya nga pag dito talaga sa Impact Church, sobrang nakakaya. Kasi ang dami nating mga bata dito, mga students. Mm-hmm. Pero syempre, may challenges din tayong kinakaharap. Sadly, the agreement we had with Manhattan Heights to use the function room for our services suddenly changed with a change in management. So, February 2019, sabi nila, bawal na yung religious gathering sa function room. Mm-mm. As in, sobrang nagula talaga yung mga pastor sa development na yun. Kasi parang nasa isip ng lahat, paano yan? Saan na tayo maguhod ng worship natin? Well, ang hirap nga nun, laking problema kasi meron ka organization, meron ka church, may tao ka, pero wala kayong place, di ba? Sobrang very challenging talaga yun. So, ano nangyari after? So, yun, dahil need nga kasi lang, like, quick solution, mm-hmm. February 3, we held our service at Jollibee Animal. Pero, hindi pa rin doon natapos. Kasi, ito naman ngayon sa Jollibee, Yung management ng Manila yung nag-decide na bawal na daw yung religious activities, hindi na daw i-permit to reserve yung place. Yun ay nung February 17, 2019. So parang few days after. So, problem. May another problem na na naman. Eh, hindi ba okay lang kay Jollibee na gamitin yung function room? Kasi doon naman kayo bumibili ng food? Yes, ganun na nga. Yun din yung alam namin. Kaya nga, ang weird talaga. Kasi bigla na lang din nagkaroon ng policy na yun na Hindi na daw pwede, kaya ang ginawa ng pastors after that Sunday, pumunta sa Ramon Magsaysay and asked the late principal, Levita Ramos, if we can use the ABR of Ramon Magsaysay High School temporarily for our worship service. And, praise God! Kasi yung favor niya, nandun, kaya pinyagan tayo ng school. Ah, ang bilis ha. Pero, kailan, kailan ba yun? 17 yun. Mm-hmm. Feb 24 naman daw, we had our first service sa Ramon Magsaysay High School. So lahat ng gamit sa Manhattan office ay dinala natin doon papunta sa Ramon Magsaysay. So yun yan, along EDSA, tapat ng Q-Mart. So ibang klase din no? Church sa loob ng school? Hindi ba kayo nahirapan papunta doon? Especially, di ba, Shaper Sunday yun, tapos mga students. Uh, very challenging nung no? times na yun. No? Mm-mm. Well, nung una, mahirap. Well, sabi mo nga sa mga students, mahirap talaga kasi magpapaalam sila sa parents din eh. Supposedly, wala naman talagang school pag uh, every Sunday. Tapos, sabi mo Sunday, may church. Eh, wala nga namang church sa loob ng school. Pero, sa Impact Church, nagawa yon. Kaya, God is really good. Dahil sa Ramon Magsaysay, we breached the 200 mark of attendees noong April 7, 2019. So, you mean to say, third year ng Impact Church, 200 members agad? Um, hindi naman. Attendees pa lang yun ang worship. So, sabay-sabay, nasa 200 na kami sa isang place. Pero yung target kasi talaga is 300 members in 5 years. And we called it 300 at 5. At hindi rin tumigil ang pastors and leaders ng church natin to scout for a possible place for our church. Kasi hindi naman tayo talaga natagal sa school. Yeah. They went to several places around Cubao, pati sa Erod. At sa gateway, nag-check din yan. Pati na rin sa Alamo Cinemas. Naging target din yan ng church natin. But it was Diamond Arcade that God opened up for us. Ito, itong church natin na ito. Alam mo ba? Dating ukay-ukay lang tong pwesto na to. Really? Hindi halata ah. Ang ganda kasi na itsura ng church ngayon eh. Oh, di ba? Hindi halata. Yan kasi yung tunay na sinasabing gandang di mo inakala. Bago kasi naging maganda tong church na to, syempre, need ng mag-step of faith ang mga pastors natin and leaders ng church. So by May, we started raising 1 million pesos para sa renovation ng equipment sa ating bagong bahay. 1 million? 1 million pesos for a church? Oh, 1 million. Kaya nga, alam mo yun, parang naging theme song ng church na yun eh. As in talagang napa-raise a hallelujah kami. As in, the whole church contributed. God also gave us people who really helped this church financially. As in, ibang klase talaga yung bayaniya nung time na yun. Kasama na din yung equipment, yung mga TVs na nakikita mo dyan, yung mga flat screen TVs na yan, yan yung gadget, at pati na rin yung pag ng office natin sa second part sa baba. Grabe pala talagang pagkilos ni Lord sa church even before, right? Oo, sobrang bait talaga ni Lord. Like, parang nag-uusap kami, ano, kaya mo ba na puso mo ng blessings? Kasi, 
So, we're now overwhelmed na kami week by week by week para may provision, may blessings, as in talaga, sobrang ang galing. Tapos, June 16, 2019 was our first worship service oh. dito sa Diamond Arcade. Ang natatadaan ko pa, si Gerard. Si Pastor Gerard, ang unang preacher natin dito. Tapos, we celebrated our third anniversary and family camp at Sierra Madre Suites noong July 19 to 21, 2019. Sarap naman, family camp. Sana all nakakasama. Oo nga, no? Hindi ko nga pala nakakasama ng family camp. Pero alam mo, dahil sa blessing Things ni Lord, talagang lumago talaga yung church that year. And we also had our afternoon service, so may pang second service sa tayo. And then we also started our first Friday region noong August, which is a gathering of young students. So technically, meron na tayong three worship gatherings in a week dito na sa Impact Church. Well, so, sobrang naging active pala yung church even before, no? From students to community, di ba? Mm -hmm. Sobrang active talaga kasi hindi rin naman namin pinabayaan yung fish pond. Actually, hindi natin pinabayaan yung fish pond. Fish pond? May isda dito. <laughs> ano ba? Hindi yun literal na isda. Yan yung term namin. Actually, dapat natin for the ministry place where we can fish for people, di ba nga? Sabi ni Jesus sa kanya disciples. I will make you fishers of men. Kaya nga yung ating campuses, we provided free photo shoot for the teachers for our three campuses. Mainly, Ramon Magsaysay High School, Juan Sabulong High School, and Don Quintin. This is our gift to them sa Teachers Month. So, October yon, And we had our yearly Christmas party for the teachers. So, December 2019. And we had our first Christmas party at Region December 2019. At, di lang yan, we had our year-ender celebration for our region. That was March 6, 2020. And few days after, after two weeks, I think March 16, 2020, Ito na, nationwide lockdown was implemented by our government. Wait, sandali. Uh, member na ako ng impact niyan. Pero mm -hmm. alam ko na madami na din tayo nagawa as a church kahit nung pandemic. Especially nung pandemic, di ba? And sa buong five years natin ng church, sobrang na-feel ko na blessed tayo. Blessed mm -hmm. ako to be a part of impact. Especially yung new ministry na we started last year ng pandemic, which is the multimedia team. Oo, sobrang blessing talaga ng multimedia team. Dito na... Nagkaroon ng anak ng bagong ministry yung church natin. And yes, God can really use us in ways we have never imagined. Proven and tested. Ibang klase talaga ang church na patuloy na sumusunod kay Lord. Kasi patuloy itong lumanan ko. Kaya church, let, let us honor, honor God as, as we make disciple makers of Christ. Christ. Happy 5th anniversary! anniversary! Happy Anniversary, Impact Church! Uy! <laughs> Sorry, mababa po yung energy ko. Happy Anniversary! <laughs> Parang nauna po kanina yung papa, nauna eh. Pero anyway, Happy Anniversary po and we're happy that we're here. The, the three of us here. This scene is usually happening every anniversary. Kasi this is the time that the pastors cast the vision once again in, or renew the vision that we have for the church. So this year, may good news po kami sa inyo Yun. na sasabihin ni Pastor Zero. Yun. Good news talaga, no? Because when we were meeting as pastors and, and staff, we were looking at yung ginawa nating commitment last 2018 because God gave us a vision and that vision is to um, reach 300 membership in five years. Ano naalala nyo ba? Pinirmahan natin yung tarpaulin. Oo. Oh. Oo, doon yun sa Manhattan Heights. Si Nakito pa nga yung si Melvin. Kalbo siya nun eh. Oo. Oh. <laughs> sila Eko nandun. Yeah. Uh, marami pang iba. No? And we... Pumirma ba kayo doon? Pumirma ba kayo doon? Ah, na pumirma ko, kayo. Ha? Ako pumirma ko doon. Kitang kita. Yun. Nandyan pa po yun sa ano natin. Nakatibayan po kami. Nakalagay dito. Oo. Yeah, no? yeah, uh, oy, dapat nating pasalamatan sila si Kuya Jason Tan who yes. challenged the pastors yes. during you, that time to really take this target. Yes, that's right, ano? 
So, talaga everyone was into the vision. Uh, at uh, kaya nga, yung mga ginagawa natin, lahat efforts natin are zeroed in to reach 300 at 5. So, sabi nga namin, nag-usap kami, okay, nasaan na ba tayo? Uh, kasi mag- magpa-5 years na tayo, mag-celebrate na tayo ng ating 5 years. And looking at our uh, data dun sa ating membership, uh, we saw that uh, 215 ang meron ng membership sa Impact Church. Palakpakan natin ng Panginoon. Praise the Lord. Amen. Malinis to. Yan. Oh. Malinis yung 215. Malinis, oo. Oh, oh. Meaning... Naligo sila. Naligo sila. <laughs> <laughs> eh. <laughs> we, we also, yung may mga kasi ito nag-transfer sa probinsya. Oh, yeah. Nagano, oh. So, we we cleaned all of this. So, 215. Oh, oh. Kumbaga, hindi na natin binilang dito yung mga nag-move, nag-move na rin no? uh, sa iba. Uh, ibang places. But we also uh, saw na yung mga umaaten ng small group at regular na umaaten at nag, naninood ng ating uh, worship live every Sunday ay uh, umabot sa 94. Kasi uh, yung mga small group leaders natin na empower na nagkaroon wow. sila ng outreach at most of them are willing to be members of Impact Church. Kaya ang kulang na lang talaga sa kanila, membership, membership class. class. So, in all, kapag dininan natin yung 215 membership plus 94 who was, who's already regularly attending and willing to be part of Impact Church, it will add up to add up to 309! Yes, we have reached 300! Yes! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Bait, talaga ng Panginoon. Grabe. After after thinking na hindi po namin hindi natin ma-reach yung target last Sunday when we we were so surprised with the number and we just thank the Lord for that. Yeah. He never fails talaga. Yeah. Yeah. And we acknowledge that it is God's working. Tung kaya natin na-reach yung goal natin to reach 300 in 5 years. And a few weeks ago we attended a seminar which is yung tinatawag na Run On 2021. And it talks about discipleship, how we are going to disciple ngayong pandemic na to. And even yung ano nga ba yung mga churches na to na kailangan nating i-plant para... Uh, nagbigay ng challenge yeah. si Bishop yeah. Noel Pantoja ng Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches yes, 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 yes. during, during that Run On seminar. No? Yes. At ang sabi niya, Ang kailangan natin i-plant na church is viable disciple-making Amen. church. Amen. And Amen. Ano nga ba yun, KR? Ano nga ba yung viable disciple-making church? Eh, gumagawa ng disciple. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's a church like Impact Church where the it's a hospital for the sick. Those ones who need to be outreached, we, we reach out. We engage the world. And then evangelize them, establish them in their faith. And then empower them as we equip them. And then send them out so that they can plant more churches. The question is, is it time for Impact Church to plant churches? To plant churches. <laughs> That's a question. So, anong sagot? <laughs> Parang ako rin yung sasagot. <laughs> the, the answer, when we were inquiring the Lord, yes. we, we prayed, we said, Lord, is it time? Lord said, uh, nak hinahinay lang. Chill lang. Chill, chill lang. Chill. <laughs> we wanted to make sure that we would have viable mm-hmm. disciple-making churches mm-hmm. when we plant them. Yes. Hindi lang, yung opportunity po nandyan, ang dami. Like, yes. for example, Kogyo lang, ang, ang laki. Ang campuses po natin, imagine, yes. during the pandemic, hindi pa natin to sinabi, that we were able to minister to one sumulong high school and that's another congregation every Saturday, di ba? Yes. Uh, ilang, ilang times din tayo nagkaroon ng worship service yes. doon. So mm-hmm. it it's really is there. But Lord said, time. So when will we do that? Maybe in next year? Maybe on the seventh year? On the eighth year? Basta we are praying that before we become 10 years old, we have impact number two. Hindi Yun. po impact two, <laughs> impact number two. Impact number two. Uh, actually, number three na sa kasi mo, why yung impact two? Yung <laughs> anyway, but, so where will we um, 
focus this time. Mm-hmm. Now we, that we have reached yung 300 mark na ginol natin yes. in five years, where are we going now as a church? That's the question. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big question. We are go- We are actually, uh, ano po namin to, uh, ginagawa namin as a tradition as pastors to meet uh, three, four weeks before the anniversary so that we can cast our vision. Actually, we missed si Juar doing this this year. Yeah. Uh, but we also welcome Gerard into the, the fold. Amen. No? So uh, you see how viable the church is because it keeps on developing leaders. No? So yun yung, yun basically, yung sinasabi ng uh, nyo, ng Bishop Noel Pantoja na viable churches. So where are we going? Mm-hmm. We, we coined four key points yes. where we said na ito yung ipofocus natin so that we can grow more. Maybe 600 at 10 or 7. We, we wow. don't know. We still would not pray about it. And But the point is that we will continue to grow because the Lord is with us. Amen. Okay? So, what are these four points? Number one is deep foundation. We wanted that our foundations in the Lord, our spiritual disciplines, would continue to de- de- be deeper. Mas malalim. Pag mas malalim yan, kaya nating mag high. Yeah, mas matibay. Diba? Mas matagal, mas matibay yung foundation natin, mas kaya natin. Tama ba? Tama. Kaya nga tayo gum- gagawa ng mga, ng mga curriculum, videos, para mas lumalim pa yung uh, yeah, we're going to create ano nga yun, yung impact equipping classes. Now, you can use it uh, individually. We'll talk about prayer, we'll talk about giving, the Holy Spirit, etc., etc., etc. Spiritual disciplines, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Essentials ba tawag natin? Oh. Hindi. Hindi. Equipping Basta series. Basta <laughs> equipping basic, series. Basic foundations. Oh. So, yun po yung, yun yung gusto natin, unang-unang gawin. Parang, when we be, when we make a decision, a young person would make a decision. It's based on the word of God and deep yung foundation niya, de ba? The second one is more practical. Yes. We need to have our economic engine. Yes. Okay. When we say economic engine, of course, anything we do in the ministry has has money involved somewhere, somehow, someone has to pay. And as we look at it, dito sa, sa church, as we, about 50% of what we're receiving every month is from the outside. Uh-huh. Which is quite normal kasi mga young people yung target natin, tama? Diba? So, pero, ang sobra-sobra pong blessed tayo every time we do have a ministry. For example, the Kogeyo Kids Outreach. Provided for po talaga ng Panginoon, when we pray, we have friends who gives to us. Maraming nagbigay. And sobra pa yun. Sobra In fact, pa. gagamitin pa yung sobra na binighininga na natin ng mga, ano yun, go signal yung mga donors para dun sa susunod nating project. So, economic engine is actually making sure that even now, dun sa dis- pag-decision ng isang bata o ng isang tao about giving, they would really give the 10%. Amen. As the Lord commanded them. Amen. Actually, baka more than pa. Kasi yes. yun naman yung sinabi ni Jesus Christ, di ba? But, ang point natin, sabi nga ng, isa sa, ng ating treasurer, is that we want to have more funds for our ministry. Mm-hmm. Not just to, for the admin staff, but for the ministry. So we could reach out for more. So we need this economic engine. Mm-hmm. Kaya po, Pasensya na po kayo na si Angela would always <laughs> remind us to <laughs> give our, ty- our tithes at magchat-chat po siya sa ating ano, di ba? So, economic engine. Ano yung una? Uh, deep deep foundation. Pangalawa? Economic, economic engine. Pangatlo, si Jero po ang mag explain Yan. <laughs> Third is relevant outreaches. Yan. We all know that for us as a church to grow, we have to look Outward. Diba? Kailangan tumingin tayo palabas. And to do an outreach, we know that. Pero to be relevant is another thing. Ibig sabihin, we are sensitive to the needs of the people around us. That is why 
I think no talagang binless tayo ng Panginoon, naging effective tayo kasi yung yung router, yung yung router mo sa Good Cop project, mm-hmm. that paved a lot of way for us. Imagine. Yung uh, uh, Brigada Escuela, Grabe no? yan. very relevant, yes. no? Uh, even yung yung mga sa teachers yung ginawa ni Jovit na classroom to classroom ibang klase talaga yon si Jovit <laughs> oo imagine niyo may mga magpapastor dahil nagtiyaga si Jovit to go around the camp the rooms yes. room per room sa Ramon Magsaysay class High School class, mm-hmm. no talagang ibang oh noong 2018 grabe ano pa oh Last last time lang nagkaroon tayo ng recollection with the yes. ano, yeah. with yes. the students yes. ng nas uh, yung basketball niyo basketball mm-hmm. also relevant yeah no relevant outreaches <laughs> and uh, uh, this is what we want to focus on yes. ano pa yung hindi natin nagagawa ano pa yung pwedeng nating gawin that ah, is relevant yeah. to the people around us so that we can uh, not only share of course yung uh, care natin but also the uh, salvation of the lord back in one holistically so that we can bring them closer to the, to the cross. Amen. So, relevant outreaches, economic engine, deep foundation. Mm-hmm. The last one is active mentoring. Amen. Ikaw naman. <laughs> Parang nam- <laughs> hindi, pero actually, effective mentoring, napaka-importante na na nakita namin na focus natin for the years to come. Dahil we have seen yung effect nito. Actually, ilang generations tayo nandito kaya? Tatlo. Tatlong generations yes. ang oh. nandito na magpapastor. Tawagin natin yung isali ka. Oh, 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 yeah, no? Palakpakan uh, natin. <laughs> This coming August po, ay magsistart na po ang classes nila. Tawagin Let's ko po. Go. <laughs> ang aking disciple. Interview mo kung saan sa papasok. Na si Jeff. Ito si okay. Jeff. Yan, yan. Oh, yeah. Interview mo. <laughs> ay, sorry po. Yun. Ito yung effect nung effective mentoring. Ganito to. From three generations, dahil minentor ni KR si PJ, at si PJ, minentor ako. Ngayon, it's my time to mentor Jeff as he goes to Bible school. At Amen. i-pursue yung calling niya, yung calling ni Lord sa kanya to be a pastor. Yes. And we desire na hindi lang sa amin, hindi lang sa line namin mangyari to, kung di every discipleship group that we have in Impact Church ay magkaroon at i-focus itong effective mentoring na ito. Ayos. Amen. So, uh, of course, as people, as our mentors also reminds us na mm-hmm. hindi naman namin iiwanan si Jeff na kay, Ger- kay Gerard na lang, bahala yes. na siya. Hindi, but we will continue on uh, ministering to both of them. And we are grateful to the Lord that... Uh, Provided for na po yung tuition fee Amen. Ni, Amen. ni Jeff Amen. at sa kanirea na papasok yeah. sa Bible this yeah. coming school Amen. year. And we thank you for taking the challenge also, bro. Yeah. <laughs> thank you rin sa mga diba? members na nag-pledge to para ma- maging possible yung pagpasok nila sa Bible school. Thank Kasi you. if we won't have effective mentoring like this, we cannot plant viable churches. Amen. So yun yung importante that we would continue on developing uh, mentors for eh, mentors and pastors. Mm-hmm. Actually we're looking forward for the group of Uncle Rainier also yes. to produce yun, no? a, a, a church. Mm-hmm. A group Grabe where they could yan. minister as well. So Jeff, pwede ka na bumaba? Kasi sumisent <laughs> ka na eh. Thank Thank you, Marami Jeff. salamat. Thank you Jeff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's happening with my mic. Uh, bahala na po si Jeff doon. Ay, si Jerry ko. Pero anyway, these are the four things we would like to focus on the next few years. Um, and when the Lord says, this is the time for you to plant the church, immediately we will because we have workers, we have volunteers available yes. to do that. But we want to focus on this first because basically as past as We inquired, the Lord said that this is that this is the way mm-hmm. that we need to do it. Mm-hmm. And what we want to do now as a church is to pray. Kasi hindi naman po ito mangyayari kung hindi po tayo mag, magdadasal. Hindi po ito mangyayari kung hindi po ito aalaw ng Panginoon. So sabi niya, ask the Lord of the harvest for the harvest is right. So we will ask the Lord 
where the place where we would plant the church, that he will ready the workers mm -hmm. in the field and ask the Lord for provisions as we do this. Amen. Diba? Yes. So, whether you're, kung nasa bahay ka ngayon, we want you to, kung may kasama ka, we want you to go together by partners or kung tatlo kayo dyan, kung apat kayo, magdalawa-dalawa kayo uh, and just pray. Let's spend this time praying, asking the Lord to harvest to provide for our needs and that He would send out workers and laborers into the harvest field. Okay? Let's all stand and let's pray. Heavenly Father, apart from you, we cannot do anything. So Lord, we lay our plans before you. Lord, we ask that you continue to deepen the foundation of each member so that when we decide, we will continue, Father, to, to be like Christ. In every decision we will make, in every step that we will make, we will be like Christ. Lord, we pray that you continue to provide for the economic engine of the church. That you will send more people, Lord. That you will bless your people so that they can bless the church as well. We pray, Father, that you would um, continue to give wisdom to the students so that at the right time, Lord, they would give for you and for your ministry. Lord, we pray for our sponsors continue to bless them. Continue, Lord, to provide for their needs because they keep on moving, Lord, and helping us move. Lord, we also pray that you lead us to relevant outreaches. Give us wisdom as pastors, Lord, to kung ano po yung dapat gawin na relevant and that we will be in the main road pointing everyone to Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Lord. Lord, we pray that... Um, you will raise up effective mentors in this church. That as we continue to empower our members, we will see more of impact ministries all over Metro Manila and even, even the world, Lord God. Lord, we thank you because you are good. We thank you because you listen to our prayers. And Lord, we pray that you will answer us in our, the right time. Prepare us, Lord, for all of these things. For you deserve all the glory that we give. For you deserve everything, Father. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, volunteers, for helping us here. Uh, I'd just like to uh, say a shout out to Derek Leo, who's 
actually commended our multimedia team for doing this. Thank you very much, June, Echo, and the rest for having a good stream. We also would like to thank you, PLDT, for not allowing us to have an internet problem today. Hindi <laughs> po natin sponsor si PLDT, by the way. Anyway, happy anniversary po sa lahat. We are so grateful, thankful. Uh, I'd like to especially thank the Kids Ministry uh, team for doing that video. Actually, yun po ang nagpaiyak sa akin ngayong araw na to. Uh, I think I needed to cry because of the overwhelming things that we have received from the Lord this, uh, this year. I also would like to thank uh, my co-pastors, uh, including Pastor Jeward, who has helped us uh, in the foundation stage of the church. Uh, the, our mentors, Dr. June Ardina, uh, Kuya Jason Tan, Ati Dana, Ati Ann, thank you very much for keeping us sane as pastors, especially me as the senior pastor uh, or the lead pastor. It's not easy po, but I'm thankful because um, we, have, we have mentors, we have friends who help, help us. Uh, we are still in the series of Evident Markers. We made sure na nakandito siya uh, sa itong walking in obedience, tamang-tama to, plinano po talaga namin ito dito sa punto na ito. Because uh, we uh, know that we only would grow as a church if we will walk in obedience with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So, our passage for today, actually, ninenervyos po ako. Sinabi ko na to kay Kuya Jason para mawala yung nervyos ko. Pero, keep, keep so na, no? Dahil meron po mga Filipino scholars na nag, uh, nag-aaral ng Lord's Prayer at they want to produce a commentary on it. And I, when I was praying, Lord, what do you want to tell the the church on its fifth anniversary, specifically, the Lord said, the Lord's Prayer. I was watching The Chosen nung, nung nag-pray ako about this. And yung scene dun sa Chosen na ginawa uh, on the Lord's Prayer is when Jesus Christ was uh, asked by the Roman official to go and then takot na takot yung mga disciples at yung mga disciples uh, nandun na pala si Jesus pinakawalan na pala siya ng Roman official si mga disciples hindi pa niya pinupuntahan at nervyos na nervyos yung mga disciples and one of the disciples said what are you doing? And sabi ni Jesus Christ I'm praying sabi ng isang disciple I think it's John who asked how should we pray? and this is the uh this is what the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ said. No? So, it's just my two cents piece on it. I see that this is specially for Impact Church. That's why uh, I want to really work on this uh, prayer. And let me read it from the Pinoy version, New Testament Pinoy version. Matthew 6, 9 to 13. Ganito kayo dapat magpray. Ama namin sa langit, sambahin ang pangalan mo. Dumating sana ang karihan mo, masunod sana ang kalooban mo dito sa lupa tulad ng sa langit. Bigyan mo po kami ng pagkain sa araw-araw. Patawarin mo kami sa mga kasalanan namin tulad ng pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkasala sa amin. At huwag mo kaming hayaang matukso Huwag mong hayaang kami, matukso kami, pero iligtas mo kami sa masama. Dahil sa iyo ang karian, kapangyarihan, papuri, magpakailanman. Amen at amen. May the Lord add blessings to the reading of His Word. I'd like to share three R's. Tatlong R, maybe because KR ang pangalan ko. <laughs> nee, joke lang po yun. Before we do that, let's pray. 
Lord, we are grateful for how you have been good to this church. Lord, we thank you for workers you have raised up from this church. Lord, we thank you because you are the Lord of this church. We pray, Lord, that your kingdom will continue to expand, that your kingdom will grow ever more through this church. Lord, we pray that as we looked at your word, as we continue, Lord, to um, reflect on it, we ask that your spirit be upon us and guide us and convict us, Father, in the things we are to be convicted of. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Three R's that I want to share today. First, relationships. The prayer talks about relationship. Diba? Our war father. Ganito kayo dapat magpray. Ama namin sa langit sambahin ang pangalan mo. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father talks about our sonship. Because of the Lord Jesus Christ, we can call our Lord, the, creators, the creator of the heavens and the earth, as our Father. Tatay. Talks about our relationship to Him. Nung buhay pa po yung tatay ko, kahit alam niya pong nangungupit na ako sa sa allowance ko, nagdadagdag na po ako ng, uh, akala niyo mga youth, kayo lang ah. Hmm. Yung project niyo isang daan, ginagawa niyo yung tatlong daan, ha, ako 250 lang. Pero alam niyo yun, pero kahit na ganun yun, yung tatay ko would always just say, okay, sige, it's maybe showing his love towards me. Relationship. Talks about our relationship. The way we think of God as we pray is very important. In prayer, we should remember that He's a loving Father and He would respond to us. This God is not only good, but this God that we pray for is our Father. Tatay natin. Some of you may not have a good relationship with your dad. I'm sorry about it. Pero, si Lord, isa siyang tao, isa siyang Diyos, hindi tao, na kaya mong asahan dahil ama mo siya. It's not like humans, like fathers who can ear and, alam mo yun, uh, magkamali, nagkakamali. Pero yung Diyos na sinasamba natin, yung Diyos na pinapanalingin na natin, perfecto siyang Diyos. He's holy, He's loving, He's kind. In fact, sabi ni Constable, Jesus' disciples need not to be informed that, G- that the Father is omniscient or holy. Kasi, alam yun sa tradisyon pa lang nila. Diba? But, actually, si Jesus Christ is making sure through this prayer na ilapit niya si God the Father to His created. Making sure that that relationship would continue on. Further, sabi ni, ni Constable, why should we pray then? Alam naman ni Lord eh. Yung pangangailangan natin, bago pa natin sabihin sa Kanya. Tama? Pero sabi ni Constable, why should we pray f- Ang sagot niya, essentially, we pray for the same reason. Children speak to their parents to share their concerns, to have fellowship, to obtain help, express gratitude, and among other reasons. We pray to this Father because we have a relationship with Him. Amen? 
this father is so good. He would he knows. He knows what to give you. Meron po ako na napakinggang TikTok. Sabi niya, salamat, hindi mo binigay, hindi mo sinagot yung panalangin ko. Kasi kung sinagot daw yung panalangin na yun, mali pala yung panalangin niya. Kasi masyadong selfish. Pero, dahil nga alam ng Diyos kung ano yung kailangan natin, dahil kilala niya tayo, dahil meron siyang relasyon sa atin, then we can pray to this God. So when we pray to this God, to this wonderful, good God, we must be constantly aware of His characters, His goodness, His kindness, His love, His justice, His omniscient. At the same time, when we pray to this God, Katulad ng natatakot tayo sa magulang natin, sa tatay natin. Naranasan niyo po ba yun yung pagka sumitsit na yung tatay mo, kahit na anong ginagawa mo, kahit na anong kakulitan mo, titigil ka kasi sumitsit yung tatay mo. ba? Diba? Nangyayari yun eh. Actually, sa amin yun, patay ka. Pagka na tumingin na sa'yo na masama yun, patay. Alam mo na. ba? Diba? Kahit na si Becca, napakadaldal niyan, pag tumingin si tatay, iino sa kanya, patay, tigil na siya. ba? Diba? It's the same thing with our Father. We talk to this God, but we also constantly is obedient to Him. Because we know who He is. He's good, He cares for me, so susundin ko. He knows what's good, He knows what's best. Alam niya na, na masasaktan ako, kaya susundin ko siya kung ano man yung hindi niya pinapagawa sa akin. Di ba? This relationship talks about not only a role to know Him further, the foundations, but also our willingness to obey God. our willingness to be obedient to Him. Kasi, ama natin siya sa langit. Okay? Two, second R. Promise po, hindi po ganito kahaba yung sermon. Responsibility. Dumating sana ang karian mo, masunod sana ang kalooban mo dito sa lupa tulad ng sa langit talks about our responsibility. The essence of this petition is not just to initiate the kingdom of Jesus Christ on earth. Hindi po para sabihin, ah, sana dumating yung kaharian mo dito kasi dumating na po siya 2,000 years ago. Right? But I guess the, the essence According to Life Application Bible, the essence of this petition is for His kingdom to come more and to be more complete. Actually, sinabi pa, come quickly. Kailangan mabilis. That's where our responsibility will come in. Lord, may your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Sana dumating yung kaharian mo, O Diyos, at yung kalooban mo masusunod, hindi kalooban ko. Di, katul, kalooban mo, katulad ng nasa langit, hindi... You see, you have, we have to understand that this kingdom that we're living is the, the, is the territory of the enemy. We are in enemy's territory. Kaya nga tayo laging mayroong temptation eh. Kaya nga, di ba minsan gusto mo i-share yung gospel pero yung enemy would always give you the sin that you did and you would just stop and not say the gospel to other people. Kasi ayaw ng enemy na expand mo yung kingdom ni God here. Pero let's all remember that this is God's respon- our responsibility, not God our responsibility to expand His kingdom here on earth. The petition is, God's will be done and God's people 
doing His will. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, doing God's will. Hindi yung hahanapin mo lang yung God's will mo. Di ba? Si Jovit kasi, nahanap na po yung God's will niya. Pag-pray po natin si Jovit, ha? But it's also more so doing God's will. Di ba? Making sure that when we choose our lady, para maging pang- maasawa natin, uh, he or she, uh, he, she, <laughs> she should be a follower of Jesus Christ as well. Someone who would lead you to become more like Christ, to do God's will. Di ba? Hindi lang yung, hindi yung, ay maganda siya eh, siya daw yung God's will eh. God's will ba talaga o your will? Pwede rin, si Kuya Will, na hindi daw magloloko sa Senado. Anyway, dapat maging kasangkap, kasangkapan po tayo sa paglawak ng kaharian ni Jesus dito sa mundo. Responsibilidad natin bilang mga disipulo niya na ipakita sa mundo kung gano kabuti ang Diyos Ama natin. That we enjoy that relationship with God, the Father, pero we also have that responsibility to share that to the world so that they also would have that kind of relationship with this God. We need to be Matthew 28, 18 to 20 Christians. Someone who makes disciples by going to relevant places, by going to main highways of the culture and pointing everybody to Jesus Christ. Hindi ka, pwede namang hindi ka agad yun na uh, ishare mo kaagad yung gospel eh, pero yung deep relationship na dinidevelop mo dun sa tao, you continue to point Jesus If you have time, this week, last Friday, we, we showed a video by Sir Boy Ponacher. I, I want you to review that video and see how he looks at the church. I just want to use it as an illustration. He said, he said there, Salamat Pastor Raymond kasi uh, tinulungan mo yung pamangkin ko. Si alam po niya kung gano'n po kasi... Ra- Kagano po kaloko-loko si si Gerard <laughs> noon and every time that I would talk to him about it I would always say to him hindi po kami yon si Lord po yon and that's pointing people to Jesus Christ and letting them think about okay why would I have that relationship and that's expanding the kingdom. And that is our responsibility. Every time we pray this prayer, that's our responsibility. He, Sir Boy said in that video, Alam ko to, Pastor, sasabihin mo, hindi kayo yun, si Lord yun, pero alam ko din, ginamit kayo ni Lord. And that's our task. As a disciple of Christ, that is our task. That's our responsibility. During the run-on seminar, uh, our one of my favorite authors, Dr. Dan Spader, um, gave us a dis- uh, definition of what a disciple is. He said, a disciple is someone who follows Jesus Christ, is being changed by Jesus, and committed to the mission of Christ. Are you a disciple of Christ? Ang isang disipulo daw ni Kristo, sumusunod sa kanya, binabago niya, at passionately committed para sundin yung mission niya. And his mission is to make disciples who will make disciples who will make disciples. Jesus Christ said, for us to deny ourselves, take up our cross daily and follow Him. Because He has a promise that He will Make us fishers of men. Natanong ni Pipoy, may isda ba? Hindi, fishers of men. And God will send you mentors, 
people who would train you to become fishers of men. And now, if you are one of those mentors, we challenge you to continue to mentor others so that they could share. If you don't know, just tell us. Tell your small group leader. We have about 60 small groups running, about 38 small group leaders for as young as 15 to as old as, wag na po nating sabihin, Karamihan po kasing idad ko, 32. Ay, Lord, sorry po. Pero, point is, the question here is that, are you ready to take up that responsibility? Are you ready to take up that cross? The Lord is not telling you to go to every towns and sitios in barangays here in Quezon City. The Lord is telling you to just be a missionary to one or two or three or four or five. In Impact Church, a small group is about 12. Pagbihan 12, large group na po yun. Actually, we recommend six para merong seven days a week, merong kang iaano ng anim na araw, yung pang, pang pito sayo so that you could rest. Diba? But that's our responsibility. Someone who follows Jesus Christ. Relational. Who's changed by God, by Christ. Intentional. And who's committed to the mission of Jesus Christ. Missional. We make sure that a disciple of Jesus Christ knows his responsibility to expand the kingdom of Jesus Christ here on earth. Just as Jesus prayed, taught us to pray. Brothers, sisters, are you ready to become kingdom expanders of Jesus Christ? Third, we talked about relationships, responsibilities, we'll talk about rewards. Bigyan mo po kami ng pagkain sa araw-araw. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga kasalanan tulad ng pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakasala sa amin. Huwag mo po kaming ipahintulot o huwag mong hayaang matukso kami pero iligtas mo kami sa masama dahil sa iyo ang kapangyarihan, kapangyarihan, papuri, magpakailanman. Amen. Let me just point out in my research that in this prayer, in this short prayer, the Jesus Christ talked about the Trinity. There might be a reference to the Trinity. God being our Father, Jesus Christ being the executor of the kingdom, kaya nagkaroon ng kingdom on earth, kaya pwede tayo mag-expand ng kingdom kasi dumating si Jesus Christ here on earth and the Holy Spirit being the executor of God's will for all of us. Looking at it, the Holy Spirit empowering each one of us so that we could become kingdom expanders of His great kingdom. So what are our rewards? Our rewards? Daily provisions. Pagkain sa araw-araw. Our daily bread. He did not pray for the bread tomorrow. Kasi sabi niya nga din sa, sa, pasi, sa around this Matthew 6, He also said, do not Worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry for, worry for itself. You have enough worries for today. I have a friend who's still worrying for his tomorrow. Bro, daily provisions will be there. Wala pong nagutom na anak ng Diyos. Amen? Pag nagutom yung anak ng Diyos, nagpa-fasting po siya. Diba? Ganun lang yun eh. Kasi that bread would always come. Kung meron man, hindi ko si, siya nagsasalita. Kasi meron ako na rin nabalitaan ngayon. Nahirapan siyang, uh, nahirapan siya kasi dahil sa pandemya siguro, walang trabaho yung tatay niya. So talaga nagtitipid siya ang kanyang um, uh, hapunan, kape na lang. O kadalasan tulog na lang. 
Sabi ko nga kay Angela, kausapin, try nating tulungan. Kasi alam na natin eh. Di ba? In the community, in the church, when people knows na may naghihirap na isa, the conviction of the Holy Spirit would always be there to help. Amen? Pagka wala po yun, hindi po tayo community of love. Eh dito sa church, sobra-sobra ang pagkain natin. Eh. Sana po natanggap niyo yung pagkain niyo. Maraming salamat po sa mga nag-deliver. Si Carl, si, pa- si Coach Dan, si Jait, nag-deliver din po. Ay hindi, lag- Mr. Speedy, saka si Angela, si Pastor Zero, si Joseph na nag-drive sa amin sa Rizal. Uh, maraming salamat. We wanted to do this, to have a fellowship meal together. To just celebrate the daily provisions of the Lord to the church. Because those are rewards for us. This part of the prayer, it's simply God answering it, becoming a reward to all of us. Forgiveness and salvation. Daily we need that, right? For every minute, we, sometimes we sin. Hindi po tayo perfecto. Hindi po ako perfecto. Bilang lead pastor, I am not perfect. There are times that I say words that really might have hurt you because of the passion that I have. And I ask for forgiveness. And I pray that you also would forgive me just as the prayer said. Diba? And when we ask forgiveness, this is a reward. Every time you every time that the person says, okay, I forgive you. Right? It's a reward always to be saved from temptation. Alam niyo po, kung anong pinakamahirap na temptation ngayong mga panahon na to, nagsisimula po sa letter L or kaya sa letter S. Shopee or Lazada. Diba? Ang hirap nga po eh, si Jero, tsaka po ako na, na Simula na na umpisahan yung lasada-lasada na yan dahil nga nagka-COVID ako. Ay, nako. Pampatulog po namin. Buti na lang add to cart tapos hindi ko na nilalabas. Natutuno, natutunan ko na yon. Tapos kinabukasan, buburahin ko na lang. Ilayun niyo po ako sa temptasyon. Buti na lang si Ate Dana would always say, save siya sa 7-7. Diba? Kasi it's temptation. Malapit na naman yung 8-8. Diba? Parang, it's always there. The temptation to sin is always there. I'm joking about those shopping things, pero the temptation to sin is always there. And our prayers that the Lord will save us from that. You see, when we look at these rewards, it talks about our pre- present, our past, our present, and our future. That the Lord forgave our past, will provide for our present, and will take care of our future. Amen? So, overall, the Lord's Prayer talk about this relationship, this special relationship with what we have with the Father. The prayer talks about our responsibility to expand God's kingdom here on earth as a church naglilingkod, sumasamba sa Diyos. Gaya po ng masuot nating t-shirt. It also talks about our reward. talks about how good our God is to us, the, our past, our present, and even our future. Now, the question is, what's our action point? Let me propose just one action point today. That is to, for you to be the answer to the prayer. Be the answer to the prayer. God is holy and must be worshipped by the whole, whole earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Ang Diyos Ama natin sa langit, siya lumikha ng lahat. Worthy siya of our worship and our praise. God is more than willing to let His kingdom expand 
In fact, si God mismo ang nag-make sure that this kingdom, itong kaharian niya, dumating dito sa lupa sa pamamagitan ni Jesus. Ngayon, ang tanong, papalaguin ba natin siya? Papalawakin ba natin siya? O itatago lang natin siya? God gave us everything we need so that we could make disciples who will make disciples who will make disciples. And God gave us this mission to let His kingdom come and that His will be done here on earth. Question is, are you willing to become the answer to this prayer? Are you willing to become the answer to this prayer? See, it's hard to become this because marami po kayo hindi deny sa sarili nyo. Hindi ko yun aalisin. Hindi ko yun pagkakait sa inyo. Meron tanong, Lord, Pag ba in-offer ko yung buhay ko sa iyo, di, hindi na ako pwedeng gumawa nito, hindi na ako pwedeng gumawa niya, hindi na ako pwedeng gumawa nito. Sometimes we really have to deny ourselves to take up our cross daily and follow Jesus Christ. But, as we know, God will take care. As He has taken care of our past, He is taking care of our future now. He will take care of our future. He's taking care of our present now. Nagutom ba kayo? Hindi kayo nagutom. And hindi rin kayo magugutom. In fact, we will come to the kingdom of God. As I was growing, pwede rin ganun. Sana ganun na lang. <laughs> so I was growing as a Christian. Meron pong isang kanta na sumikat nung college ako. Kanta na Mahal na Mahal Kita, Panginoon. The point in time, nakakainis na pinaliktad nila itong pangalan na to, ay itong kanta na to. Ang sinasabi nila, Mahal na Mahal Kita sa Panginoon. Nice echo at saka Junjun. Jeff at Carl, huwag niyong gagayahin to. Yung henerasyon na yun, yun, alam mo yun, sinabi nila talaga, mahal na mahal kita sa Panginoon. Tapos, alam mo yun, pag inisip mo yung kanta, sabi nung kanta, habang buhay, paglilingkod sa'yo, habang buhay, papupurihan ka, habang buhay, buong pu- buhay ko, iaalay ko sa'yo. Tapos, kakantahin mo dun sa girl. So talagang nawala sa utak ko, parang I don't want to hear the song anymore. Until last, just this week, about Monday, in my Spotify, merong itong kanta na to. And it just turned my mind around again to this song. From the composer himself, Romel Guevara, he said, he explained the real intent of the song. Alam niyo po kung anong intensyon ng kanta? Intensyon ng kanta, mangako tayo sa Diyos. Isa siyang pangako sa Diyos. Habang buhay, papupurihan ka. Habang buhay, maglilingkod sa'yo. Habang buhay, pag-ibig ko sa'yo lamang iaalay. And I said, what? That's the intent of the song. And as he was speaking, nine minutes yung sa Spotify, nag-preach siya. Isa po dun sa mga sinabi niya na hindi makaka- apat na bagay daw na hindi makakalimutan ng Diyos. Pangalan mo? Tama, di ba? He has even inscribed it in the palm of his hands. Right? Pangalawa, number ng buhok mo kahit kukunti siya o madami siya. Alam ni Lord. Pangangatlo, 
Panalangin mo, even yung luha mo, natatago. Tandaan nyo yun guys, yung nanonood kayo ng shock. Diba? The, the shock, the, the, the angel there, or the, the Holy Spirit, the girl there, kept our tears. Diba? He's keeping our tears, our prayers. And the third, fourth, fourth, one, two, three, four, fourth, The fourth thing that God don't forget is our promises to Him. I know that one time or the other, nangako ka na sa Diyos, Lord, akin, sa'yo na ang buhay ko. Lord, alam mo yon? there was, Ate Ann would know this, that there was a national congress. We were coming back from Dumaguete and the preacher preached on this passage. Ang tagal-tagal ko na siyang hinahanap. Nung Monday ko siya nahanap. Sabi sa Ecclesiastes, hindi pala si Paul ang nagsabi nito, si Solomon pala. If you make a promise to God, keep your promise. Do not be slow to do what you promise. God is not happy with fools. Give to God what you promise. Maaaring nakalimutan mo yung pangako mo sa Diyos. I ask God the Father to remind you of that promise. Maaaring tuloy-tuloy lang yung ginagawa mo and you could keep on praising and obeying God. Praise the Lord. Maaaring nang lalamig ka ngayon. Maaring nasaktan ka ng pastor, ng small group leader mo, o nung sino man. Maaring napagod ka sa dami-dami ng ginagawa, sa dami mo, sa tagal mo sa screen, kaaral ka or what. O simple, maaari nalimutan lang natin. Pero alam ko, isang beses, sa buhay mo, pinangako mo sa Diyos, habang buhay, papupurihan ka. Habang buhay, maglilingkod sa'yo. Habang buhay, pag-ibig ko sa'yo lang iaalay. Hindi ko alam, kapatid, kung anong nangyari at this point in time in your life. But I know that the God who called us is waiting for us to move. Kaya nating maging 600 next year eh. Amen? Ay, walang nag dito sa loob. <laughs> Mahirap po kasi talaga. Diba? But if we continue to let the kingdom of God expand and our lives be used by God, then we can. Right? We can. Kapatid, nasaan ka man. I want you to take this time to just reflect. Huwag po kayo matulog, pikit, pray lang. Think, where are you? San ka ba? Are you causing the expansion of God's kingdom? O am I ex- causing it to shrink. Sa ikalimang taon natin, nais ko kayong imbitahan na muling ialay ang inyong buhay sa Diyos. Ialay ang buhay sa Diyos na banal, Diyos nating Ama. Upang ang kanyang kaharian ay patuloy na lumawak at siya ang maghari sa mundong ito. Ialay ang buhay natin sa Diyos na ibinigay ang lahat ng ating pangangailangan noon, ngayon at magpakailanman. Sa iyong pagbubulay-bulay, saan ka man, Dalangin ko 
ng banal na spirito ang kumilos sa oras na ito. Ang tanong, iaalay mo ba muli ang iyong buhay? Ang warning, lahat ng pangako natin sa Diyos na aalala niya. And sisingilin ka niya one day. Challenge. Kaya mo bang tanggalin, kantahin muli habang buhay, papupurihan ka. Habang buhay, maglilingkod sa'yo. Habang buhay, pag-ibig ko sa'yo, iaalay. Manalangin ka. In the silence of your heart, just pray. Tell God, Lord, I'm sorry kung nagkulang ka. Lord, kailangan ko pa ng tulong. Lord, I need you. Pero, I can promise. Kaya ko pong sabihin, habang buhay, papupurihan ka. Habang buhay, maglilingkod sa'yo. Habang buhay, pag-ibig ko sa'yo, iaalay. kung kaya mong kantahin itong awitin na to. I challenge you to join us just where you are. Stand, just sing with us. Kantahin po natin. Buhay, papupurihan ka habang buhay. sa'yo habang buhay pag-ibig ko sa'yo iaalay muli habang buhay papupurihan ka habang Lord, say, oh, habang buhay,
Diyos na banal, Ama namin na nasa langit, kami ay iyong pakinggan. Sinasabi po ng puso namin, habang buhay, habang kami ay mahininga na nagmula sa iyo, pupurihin ka. Habang kami ay may lakas na nagmumula sa iyo, paglilingkuran ka namin, O Diyos. Habang kami ay may buhay, ang aming pag-ibig ibibigay at ilalaan sa iyo at sa iyo lamang, O Diyos. Pakinggan mo, O Diyos, aming mga puso, ang aming mga tinig, itinataas, maingat. Sapagat ikaw ay karapat-dapat, ikaw lamang, O Diyos. Habang buhay, Papupurihan ka habang buhay Maglilingkot sa'yo habang buhay Pag-ibig ko sa'yo iaalay Habang buhay, habang Papupurihan ka habang buhay Maglilingkot sa'yo habang buhay Pag-ibig ko sa'yo'y iaalay At habang Papupurihan ka habang buhay Maglilingkot sa'yo habang buhay Pag-ibig ko sa'yo'y iaalay Oh, 
Happy anniversary. We look forward for more years of God's goodness to this church and to our lives. Let us pray. Lord, mahal na mahal ka namin. Habang buhay, paglilingkod sa iyo, habang buhay kami magpupuri, habang buhay, yung pag-ibig namin, ibibigay namin sa iyo. Bibigay din namin sa mga tao around us. Lord, as we face, not just this week, but the years ahead, we ask, Lord God, that your presence be upon each one of our lives. Each one of us, Lord. Lord, katulad ng prayer ni Moses, that we will not move if your presence won't go with us. That is our prayer, Lord God, that your presence in this church, your love, in this church, will be with us every step that we will take. Lord, we pray that as we continue to deepen our foundation, as we look, Lord God, for partners, and even, Lord, continue to pray for your provisions, as we mentor people, as we continue, Lord, to go to the main roads and proclaim Jesus Christ, your Spirit will go ahead of us. Lord, Every step, just as you have commanded us the first year, the first few months of this church. Lord, we ask for your presence to be upon us, for it to be ahead of us, for it to join us, increase our faith every step of the way. Lord, I thank you for the members the leaders of this church, may your blessings be upon each one of them. May your enabling grace be with them as they work, as they study, as they rest, Lord God, from studies this time. May your presence be upon them. And I pray your blessings to be upon them as well. But more so, Lord, I pray that you will give them courage that you will give them wisdom to go to the main roads, proclaim Jesus Christ, and point everyone to Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. I pray that we will expand your kingdom evermore. Hear our prayers, O God. Thank you for being our Father. Thank you for forgiving our past, taking care of our present, and being there preparing our future. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your love. We thank you for churchmates. We thank you for your provisions. We thank you that your goodness runneth over us. And that indeed we will sing of your goodness every time. My brothers and my sisters receive the blessings from the Lord to Him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you 
before the presence of our Father without fault, with great joy to the one and only God, our Savior. Be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, Sanctifier, Healer, and Coming King, both now and forevermore. Amen and Amen. City Impact Church. Happy fifth anniversary 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 Impact Church. Happy 5th Anniversary, Impact Church! Happy 5th Anniversary, Impact Church! Happy Anniversary! We are the Chosen Ones! Happy 5th Anniversary, Impact Church! <laughs> Happy 5th Anniversary, Impact Church! Happy 5th Anniversary, Impact Church! Fifth anniversary Impact, Impact Church. 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 Yeah. Happy fifth anniversary Impact Church. Happy fifth anniversary Impact Church. Happy fifth anniversary Impact Church. Happy fifth 
anniversary. In fact, church happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy fifth anniversary. Happy fifth anniversary. Impact church. Happy fifth anniversary. Impact church. Happy 5th Anniversary, Impact Church! 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 Happy Anniversary, Impact Church! Hope to see you soon! Happy 5th Anniversary, Happy 5th Anniversary Impact Church! 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 More power to you all. God bless. Happy 5th Anniversary Impact Church!